day nine. National Preparedness Month. Go bags. Um, not to be confused with bug out bag. I'm never coming home bag, inch bag, whatever the hell you want to call your bag bag, your man purse, your what, I don't care. I'm talking about a go bag, meaning something that I have packed ready to go literally all the time. This is not my bug out bag. This is my go bag. This is, um, we need to go do extractions with grindstone for Caleb house. This is, um, I need to go to this place and meet with this person about a super important business deal. Um, or something comes up and I just got to go. I live a life where a lot of times something comes up and I just got to go. And so this is a bag that I have packed to deal with that 24-7-365. Let me spin this around. She's a big lady, but that's okay. Down here, main compartment, clothes, your basics, tactical cool guy pants, loaded up, ready to go, pocket, magazines, ready to go. This roll of dirty laundry, just got back from the gym. These are yucky clothes. These are covert thread socks. See, see, the best socks. You should get some, suck less. Got radio chargers down here, battery backups, etc. I know we're gonna get into the good stuff in a minute, but clothes, three to five days worth of clothes can easily stretch it to a week if I don't have to be, you know, the most presentable clothes. And I gotta wear these socks today, so they can go over there next to my boots. In this pocket, I usually have this, which is a um, dry bag that's filled with all my chargers, chargers, more battery backups. Hey, look, another phone. Also in here is another phone, burners and backup phones. Yeah, because of the nature of the work that we do sometimes. In here are my toiletries. I got Tums, I got bulb powder, I got a, a toothbrush. I've got all the things in here. This is a Garmin GPS and an ACU pouch. Boom. Okay, in case your phones are off or they're in Faraday bags so that assholes don't try and war drive you. Yeah. Okay, now the front portion of this bag. See, there's another zipper right here. This is actually another backpack on the front of this bag. And this backpack zips off. I don't remember what it's called, uh, but it is a Condor brand. And I've actually had really good experience with it. This is my Slate Black Industries uh, patch right here. Because I want, I want Josh and Henry to be my friends. But I'm not really into obscure French rifles. So I guess we can't be friends on the internet. And here, Patagonia uh, rain jacket. Good to go. Down here, out of the way, a little extra layer, and uh, keep me dry if I need to. Ontario Knife Company, Rat 3. On the outside, Refuge Medical, Cub Kit, Cub Pro Kit, Tourniquets, Shears, the standard blowout kit, flashlight if needed. That is a focus, you dumb thing. Oh, one you told me. It's a stream light. There we go. Stream light, something, something. Pro Tac 2LX. Compass, if we gotta hook it on foot. Carmanga. All right, now, where things start to get interesting. In this pocket. Sawyer Mini. Backup Glock. Not to be confused with primary Glock. Radio batteries. More poncho. Water. Aren't you happy you stuck around for the good stuff? Look at that. Swat teeth. Ten. Three loaded Glock mags. Yeah, 147 grain plus P, jacketed hollow points. 
three additional Glock mags for, you know, clandestine stuff, I guess one could say. I also keep a metric F-ton of cash on me, especially when doing extractions because things cost money. And in addition to cash, looks like my lid came off of there. Yep. How about some silver doll hairs? Real money. Yeah, that's about it. A metric F ton of cash. All right, so as you can see, different than a bug out bag, the go bag, at least for me. Um, the idea being that I might have to go, and if I have to go, I have to go right now. And I'll need a little bit of capability for, you know, austere environments, survival gear stuff, you know, fixed blade knife combustion kit a little bit of cover but this is not axes and paracord and you know uh katahdin water filters and silky gomboy saws it's not this this is i gotta go work and because of the nature of my work um gotta have some particular stuff on me so that's what i actually have in a go bag um, you might, this might best serve you conceptually as like a get home bag. And I, I think all the different bag terms are gay AF being completely honest. I think it's just created subgenres and categories for all the blog posters and Instagrammers to drill down on, to get more hits and clicks and likes. I think it's dumb. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as the contents inside of the bag meet the mission requirements for you. That's it. So this is what I actually carry. And as you may have been able to tell, this is not staged. I'm in an effing hotel, y'all. So, National Preparedness Month, day eight. The go bag. Don't get caught with your pants down. And remember... Your tactic britches. You never know when you're gonna need tactical britches full of all the good stuff. And always, always bring a little bit of the Lord's camo. More bad for the win. Shalom.